can just drag and drop to set it. That is so perfect. You can add new sections to the start page too. Let's add iPod tabs and reading list. Let's take a look. There, this is perfect. I use reading list all the time, mm -hmm. thesaurus and recipe filter. So just the like what you do up here, drag, go, go, Let me show you recipe filter. I love this one. So this extension will search the web page for a recipe, and if it finds one, it will pop it up in a little card. That it's should be It's been a great fun. accelerator for me when I'm building a grocery list. So the extension hasn't done anything yet, because I haven't granted permission. So let me click on the toolbar button, and I'm going to allow this extension for one day. And when I click here, it'll do its thing. So here we go. And there it is. So useful. Okay, so I have my personality pretty thoroughly stamped over Safari at this point. And you know, I use Safari for a lot of personal <laughs> things. And Apple makes sure my private life stays private. Privacy is essential to everything we do at Apple, and it's critical on the web. And now you can see what Safari is doing to protect you. If I click on the yep, Intelligent Tracking can. Prevention button, I can see the number of known trackers that Safari protected me from on this web page. I can click here to see a list of the known trackers right here in this popover. And the full privacy report is just one click away. And that's what we have for privacy in the new Safari. Next, I'd like to talk about tabs. If you love tabs, you're going to love the new Safari. It's easier and more efficient than ever to work with lots of tabs. So I have another window here. And right away, you'll notice that there are icons and tabs, which makes Is it so easy to spot what you're looking for. Look and if I open more tabs, then you'll see more of them at once, oh. because the tabs get smaller and use the space more efficiently. Oh. If it's a little oh hard to find what you're looking for with this many tabs, that's no problem. You can just hover over tabs and see a nice preview oh, of the page. That's going to be fun. I'm ready to clean up now, and that's easy, too. I can just bring up the context menu here and close all tabs to the right, just like that. We are so excited that the new Safari has built-in translation. Let me show you. So here on this website on El Mundo, Safari has detected that this is not my primary language, and it's added the translation icon to the smart search field. I can click here, and let's translate this page to English. It'll happen in line, and as more content is added, that gets translated dynamically too. Those are some highlights, but there is so much more to the new Safari. Back to you, Craig. Thanks, Beth. So that's Safari. It's a huge release with new ways to customize, big improvements to your browsing experience like tabs and translation, and even stronger privacy protection to keep your browsing your business. And that's macOS Big Sur, the biggest update to design since the original introduction of macOS 10, significant updates to messages and maps, and the biggest update to Safari ever. But these changes are only the beginning. For years now, down deep below the surface, we've been working on something truly profound. To tell you more, I'll hand it back to Tim. Well, love, like, and subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think. I mean, it was pretty impressive. Seriously. Must all, yeah.